Yeah, Sea Shepherds International. I'm the regional director for the Sea Shepherds. I'm very proud to take that position. The sea Shepherds have been probably the most aggressive organization in protecting the rights of whales internationally, having sunk several ships used to kill whales, also having conducted many direct action campaigns in the effort of saving marine life. I'm not going to repeat what's been said here. I think, I don't know if there's anyone in here who doubts whether there is any possibility that this is dangerous to marine life. Is there anybody in here who questions whether it is? No, not one person, except for the Navy, of course, and National Marine Fisheries. He said that. Yes, of course. I, I would like to talk about integrity. Integrity, to me, is very important. And I would like to give a personal experience that I had as a Marine, which I'm not exactly proud of serving as a Marine, but I did. And I actually earned a combat action ribbon while I was in Kuwait. And while I was there, I was more than likely exposed to depleted uranium rounds, and also took experimental pills, anti-nerve agent pills. Guess whether I was told or not, whether that was potentially dangerous to me, or whether the 600,000 servicemen who were over there were told. No, they were not. Did they not know that these things were dangerous? They very well did. Are you going to cut me off? Do you want to say something? I want to keep it to the relevancy of this I'm making relevant marks, remarks here because it's involved with integrity. There is no integrity with the military. They routinely lie about whatever it is that they want to get. National Marine Fisheries Service was in Washington State while I was there serving with the Sea Shepherds in an effort to prevent a, the Macaw Indians from killing a whale. That, that whale was meant to be the precedent set to be able to open the doors for commercial whaling worldwide. Make no mistake about it, there is a full-scale intent right now by Norway, Japan, Iceland, and Russia to resume commercial whaling under the guise of cultural reasons and National Marine Fisheries held the hands of the Macaw Indians the whole way. I have seen what our media does. Our media was here for about 15-20 minutes at the beginning to make sure that they got the representative from the Navy. Watch the news tonight. Who in this room honestly believes we live in a democracy? Does anyone honestly believe that we live in a democracy? Okay, I beg to differ. Our president right now did not receive the majority of votes first off. Secondly, the media will not represent the majority of people. They will not do their job, and the media has no integrity as well. If you watch the news tonight, what you're going to see is a story that will pay lip service to everyone here and the vast majority of people, and will give equal airtime to the Navy's version and the National Marine Fisheries version of what's going on, giving the perception to those who are not willing to take the time necessary to research and investigate whether or not that's true, to come up with a very false assumption that, well, the jury's still out. It's far from not being out. The jury's made their decision. America consumes approximately 40% of the world's resources. 40%. No one is more responsible for destroying this planet right now than we as Americans. And I include myself in that. I am ashamed to be a part of that process of destroying this wonderful planet. Absolutely despicable. Who gives the United States the right to put this technology into the oceans of the world and destroy marine life which is there for all people of this planet disregarding the life itself who gave us that right no one gave us that right i'll tell you who gave us that right the nuclear weapons that we have seven thousand of them three thousand of which are in the most beautiful islands on the face of the planet three thousand nuclear weapons here this is all about power this is about money and none of you count none of what you say matters they're going to do this anyway. The reality is that we live in a world now dominated by people who could care less about the views of the world. They care about their pocketbooks. They care about their accounts. And the defense contractors that are making big bucks off of this are laughing at us. This is an exercise in futility. They're going to do it. I guarantee it. And unless people are willing to stand up with their lives on the line to change things and get out there, this is what we're going to get. Thank you. Thank you. Alan, followed by Alan Cox.